Mike McLean, head soccer coach, Garden Valley Academy. Fred Walker, play left back. Uh, my name is Bryce DeGuire. Sean Foster. I'm Logan Kington. This year, had a lot of success so far with the program. 11-0-1, won the regular season of the district. Uh, looking to move on and do some good things in the regional round and um, hopefully get a home game for the sub-state game it would be huge and uh, get back to Murphy's Grove for the first time since 2011. Tied one game against Farragut but uh, Ty wasn't there which is a big part of our team. I think we have the talent to go pretty far if uh, everyone gives their best effort and we don't have any injuries going into the tournament. We've got 10 seniors and that are all pretty good. And, Got a lot of experience on the team, and we are chemistry is pretty good, so gives us a good uh, shot. Proud of how we've been working. We're working hard every practice, coming to games, and proving that we're not just all talk, how some people have been saying. So you know, I'm glad that this team is a we're a great family too. So we're all singing together. We haven't forgotten everybody's back. Very fortunate. I have a good group of guys that are self-motivating. Um, that comes with having 10 seniors and a great leadership. And they, they've had this goal in mind for a few years when this class gets to become seniors. And so as far as coaching them, it's more um, just making sure we have everyone in the right positions and the right situations to be successful, and they're taking care of the motivation. So that's one of our goals is to win state, but we can never say, hey, we're just gonna win state, because we have to, that we can get through the district, and then the region, and then sub-state, and then go through the whole state tournament, you know? We are ranked high, but that doesn't say anything for the teams that we haven't played yet who are also ranked. We have a good, we have a good team. Um, it puts a bit of pressure on us, uh, but it's, it's forcing us to play well every game. Uh, there, there's, there's 10 really good teams in the state at this point. We're one of them. It's just about being consistent once we get to the playoffs. Uh, mainly, our, our goal as a back line and as a center back is we're, uh, we want to keep our team in it until they can get going up top to put it away. And so far, we've been able to do so, both jobs, offensively and defensively. We, we have a group along each line. I mean, we're defending so well right now, our back unit, with uh, Kai Zhao and Logan Kington and Sean Ryan and Trent uh, Walker. I've been so, I mean, we've had like, seven clean sheets already this year. Uh, in the middle, we got a couple juniors, Jacob Heldebrittle and Ben Rice, playing really well right now. Uh, Sean, Sean Foster is our go-to playmaker. Everything goes through him as far as trying to uh, get points on the board. And up top, Cameron uh, is being looked at right now as Gatorade Player of the Year. He's in he's in that running for uh, one of the top players in the state. Uh, he's, he's got a goal in every game but one, and he's also sharing the ball, getting some assists as well. Also, uh, the keepers, we have two, which uh, a lot of schools don't have one. We have two really good ones in Andrew Foster and Jeremy Wise that uh, are splitting the halves. But so far been very successful. We're, we're actually really blessed to have the best coach for high school and one of the best coaches around. That's really, I think, one of the huge advantages that we have on every other team is because he knows how to prepare us for every game and he really does know what he's talking about. Uh, we've been playing together for a long time. Uh, a lot of the people play on the same club team, so they've played together for a long time, so they know how the other people play and they play well off of each other. I mean, we're really close. We all just love each other. We mess around with each other a lot. So, you know, after games, we'll have some of the team just come and eat dinner just so that we're all just still together throughout the time. You know, I can't, even through school, you just, you still see soccer players together just talking just because, you know, we're just all really close friends. So there's really no tension between anybody. We're all just close. We're in it together. We're not about one person. We're a team. Working hard, that's the biggest thing. Never quit. Stop until the whistle's blown.